Hello, good evening everyone. I'm Mr. Chu. So back to our regular lessons again. So today we are going to start a brand new chapter, which is uh, chapter 3 for aromatic compound for organic chemistry. So um, without hesitation, let's begin. So uh, if you like my video, please help me to click like button. And if you want to update more information when I'm going to post a new video, you may subscribe to my channel and press notification buttons if you like them. Okay, okay so without hesitation, let's begin our lessons. So uh, we are going to begin with the objective question sections. Okay, so here we go. Okay, let's have a look together at the questions. So uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look together at the questions. <laughs> okay, so ready? Okay, so section A objective. Question number one: Which of the following reagent is used to distinguish hex one in and methyl benzene? So uh, hex one in and methyl benzene. For information, this is how they look like. Uh, you shall have a, a CH three, CH two, CH two, CH two. CH double bond is CH2. And then methyl benzene looks like this. Now, uh, which one is the best way to uh, distinguish them? So, can you use silver this one? So, this is actually a tolens reagent. Huh? So, a tolen is used for uh, this uh, uh, aldehyde. Huh? So, so, you cannot use. And then bromine in CCL4 can be used because it's specifically for benzene. Iodine in NaOH is for what we so-called as a methyl alcohol or methyl uh, this uh, uh, methyl alcohol or methyl carbonyl. Okay, so it cannot be used. 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine is for this uh, 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 carbonyl compound with a C double bond or. So the best answer in here will be uh, boy B. Okay. Okay, so uh, this one, number one, number two. The first stage of the cumin process for the industrial preparation of the phenol, the X is below. Which of the following will be the product of the reaction? So what are they trying to tell you in here is, uh, uh, somehow in some way, the C double bond C in here will attach to the carbons in here. And it's, uh, it is selected based on the, uh, this uh, Markovnikov rule, okay? So what, what would you expect uh, if you react in the same way between benzene molecule and also cyclohexene. So uh, you have to imagine from the angle of the uh, alkene, where it is sort of like addition reaction. So when you add this benzene into here, okay, so you form the double bond with definitely gone. So you form a methyl cyclo, uh, cyclohexyl benzene, okay? So uh, therefore the best answer in here will be A, okay? Okay, so this is for number two. And then for number three, during nitration of benzene, a nitro substituent is at the carbon. Which of the following give the arrangement of the bond at this carbon atom? So let's have a look together. How are the step-by-step -step mechanism take place in here? So this is what happened after a benzene um, react with the electrophile. Let's say now this electrophile is nitro benzene. So regardless of what are the electrophiles are. So uh, this is, the definitely have the same uh, this uh, intermediate so this is how the intermediate looks like but the key in here is what are the shape so this is still sp2 so this is a planner okay while this one uh, is already formed for covalent bond this is sp3 okay so this is a tetrahedral and then when you uh, do the protonation so you form sp2 back which is trigonal planner so in here the best answer will be b planner tetrahedral planner Number four, when methyl benzene is treated with bromine in the presence of catalyst, a mixture of two monobromo substituents is formed. Which of the following are these two isomers? Now, because a CH3 uh, methyl benzene is uh, methyl in the methyl benzene act as an auto para director, okay, so um, the two products are either at the auto and the para positions. So the best answer in here will be donkey D. Then we go to number five, the reactions between the between boiling methyl benzene and chlorine take place in the number of steps given in the several product. Which of the following could be one of the steps in here? So this could probably talking about more on this uh, free radical substitution reactions. So when you come to methyl benzene and the chlorine, so I'm going to draw out the methyl benzene for you. Okay, so we are talking about uh, the reaction between methyl benzene react with chlorine, and it is more towards a nuclear. Uh, it can be either. Uh, 
free radical substitution reaction. It can even be a nucleophilic substitution, uh, electrophilic substitution reaction. So in a free radical substitution reaction, you form a free radical. So in here, the answer could be uh, A, or the answer could be uh, D in here. But as I told you just now, uh, this is a, uh, now uh, the answer in uh, B is not correct. Why cannot be B? Because uh, you don't form a, cation inside this uh, free radical substitution reaction and C is definitely not the answer why because this is also an auto para director so you cannot be at the meta position okay so in here the best and um, let's have a look at the answer in here so the mechanism in here is reacting with HCl so the uh, reaction with CH2 is not with HCl huh? so this is not correct Okay, so it is the reaction of deprotonations that form the this one. So the best answer in here will be donkey D. Okay, so A is wrong because you are expected to. Uh, A is wrong because you are expected to react with Cl two. Uh, okay, not HCl. Uh. Okay, number six. Which of the properties of benzene may be directly attributed to the stability associated with delocalized electron? So uh, this one is one of the part of the benzene. So due to the stability of the delocalized electron, it makes benzene hard to undergo addition reaction like all other C double bond C do. Instead, benzene more prefer to undergo electrophilic substitution, uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution each year. So the best answer in here is donkey D. Then we have number seven. In the reaction represented by the equation below, what is the type of the reaction? So this is obviously a reaction between chlorine and the benzene. You form uh, chlorobenzene. So this, again, I would like, uh, the type of reaction is always the same, which is the electrophilic substitution reactions. Okay, More specifically, electrophilic aromatic. Huh? Okay. okay, so this is number seven. Number eight. The nitration of the benzene by the concentrated nitric acid dissolved in the concentrated sulfuric acid can be represented by the following equation. Yes, uh, benzene react with the nitronium ion. So you form a nitronium benzene as the intermediate. And then finally, you form this uh, nitrobenzene. Now, this is a two-step reaction. Huh? This is a two-step reaction. So since you have two steps, uh, you expected two loops and this reaction is stable so you expected this is an exothermic reaction so which of the following has the following characteristic uh, it has uh, as i mentioned just now where are you my sensor okay so it is two step okay and it is exothermic okay so what is the best answer in here so this is endo which is wrong this is endo also wrong. This is endo which is also wrong. So the best answer in here is donkey D. Okay. So this is number eight. Then number nine, deuterium is a heavy isotope of the hydrogen. So the deuterium benzene reacted with a mixture of nitric acid and sulfuric acid under control condition to form a mono nitration take place. Assuming that carbon deuterium bond is broken as easily as carbon hydrogen bond, which of the proportion of nitrate product will be three nitro deuterium benzene? Basically, this what is this question trying to ask you? This question is trying to confuse you a bit because basically it regardless is deuterium or hydrogen they are the same they are the same so when all of them are response like hydrogen okay it's just that now they use deuterium as like hydrogen's head so this will act as a h1 okay so if nitro uh, if nitronium ion were to substitute it inside here it can be substituted here or here or here Okay, so even though it substitute at here or substitute at here, it is the same as you substitute in the second and third carbon in here. So it is the same result. Therefore, the probability of the nitronium substituted as a uh, deuterium three nitro so called deuterium benzene. Okay, so the probability is actually one over three. So therefore, the percentage to form this three nitro deuterium benzene is thirty three point three. Okay, okay. So this is for number nine. Number 10, which reagent con condition are used to bring out the reaction above? So this is obviously uh, methyl benzene substituted at the para position. So it is an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Definitely the reagent are Cl2 in AlCl3. So the answer is B. 
Number 11, which of the following set is the correct condition for the nitro benzene? So please, uh, this one I already I will stress it many times uh, later that for reaction to form nitro benzene, you must require concentrated nitric acid together with concentrated sulfuric acid under reflux, which is 60 degrees Celsius. So the best condition is donkey D. Number 12, which property does benzene has a con as a consequence of delocalized electron inside the benzene ring? So this question is very similar to the previous one that we see just now. So uh, because of the delocalized electron that is uh, circulating around the benzene ring, it stabilizes the benzene ring. So instead of undergoing addition reaction, it is more preferably to undergo a substitution reaction. So the best answer in here will be don uh, donkey D. Then we have a look at question number 13. Which of the following statements about intermediate complex C6H6NO2 uh, formation during the nitro benzenes are correct? Okay, so uh, to illustrate for you, uh, I draw out again so that you can see clearly how does the uh, reaction take place. So this is how the go. Okay, so this is how the intermediate looks like in here. So this one is a uh, tetrahedral sp3 yeah? this is the sp3 therefore it's a tetrahedral shape okay so is it a planner it is definitely not a planner does it contain a chiral center atom so uh, it may be a chiral center it can exist as a cis trans which is not correct it contain only one tetrahedral bonded carbon atom this is for sure okay so the best answer in here is donkey d Okay, I have the diagram, so never mind. Okay. okay, number 14. Bromine is an inert solvent, is added separately to hexane, hexane, and benzene. In which of the following pair will the observation be the same? So you have to understand by yourself, uh, hexane, uh, bromine can only react with the uh, alkene. Okay? okay, it can only react with alkene. So you expected. Uh, Hexane, uh, benzene and methyl benzene will have the same observation. Okay, so in here, which pair? Hexane, benzene is the same. Hexane, methyl benzene also the same. Hexane, hexane different. Benzene, methyl benzene same. Okay, so the answer will be one, three, and four. Okay, so the best answer in here is C. Okay. Okay, then we go to number 15. When the mono substituted benzene reacts with the electrophile E, the major product of the organic is shown below. The substituent X may be what? So in here, this is obviously, uh, X is obviously what we so-called as an auto-para director. Okay, this is an auto-para director. So uh, how to easily tell which one is an auto para director? The most important, the most easiest key uh, to tell whether X is an auto para director or meta director, the surrounding molecule must have a single bond only. Okay, inside this X is only a single bond. Okay. Okay, so this is how NH2 looks like. So NH2 has only single bond. Well, C double bond O CH3, you have a pi electron inside them. NO2, you also have a pi electron inside them. Well, Cl is a single bond. So in here, obviously, NH2 and Cl are auto para director, while CO, CH3, and NO2 are meta director. So the best answer in here is point B. Number 16, when bromine added to phenol, the bromine color decolorizes immediately and forms a white precipitate of 246-tribonal phenol. So this is the uh, reactions uh, actually. Do I have the equation? No, I don't have it. So I just straight away write out the equation for you so that you can have a look at the equation. So uh, this is a, a phenol uh, react with the bromine water. Okay, you, uh, you uh, quickly form a, what we so-call as a 246-tribonal Phenol, okay. Well, your bromine is occupied at the two, four, six. So this is obviously what we so-call as a electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Huh? So the best answer in here is A. Number seventeen. Which of the following represent an addition reaction? Okay. So uh, this is a this is a, a free radical substitution. Okay. Well, this one is a free radical addition reaction. 
because benzene react with chlorine uh, because you, they don't write on the conditions so they just wanted what is the process so uh, that is why you have to determine by yourself lah. while this is an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction while this one is a free radical substitution also so the best answer in here will be b Number 18, which of the following compound react with uh, acidified potassium manganate? So uh, in here, you must have, uh, if it is uh, alkene, alkene can easily react with the potassium manganate. Okay, so number two can, okay. Whereas another one, which also react with acidified potassium manganate, any alkyl benzene, primary, secondary alkyl benzene, can easily react with acidified potassium manganate. Okay, so therefore the second one which will also react is methyl benzene. Okay, so one, a uh, two and four is our answer. Donkey, sorry for the wrong thing. I left wrongly. Okay. Okay. So it's donkey. Yeah. Okay. So this is for number eighteen. Then we go to number nineteen. Which of the following statement is true regarding benzene? So benzene is odorless, which is uh, obviously wrong because benzene has actually a very sharp smell. Huh? Okay, uh, one of the things that made of benzene is your mothball, huh? very sharp smell. So this is wrong. Benzene is a gas? No, it is a liquid at room temperature. Carbon atom benzene undergo sp3? No, it is sp2 hybridization. And when benzene burn in excess air, you form carbon dioxide and water, which is correct. So the best answer in here is donkey D. Number 20, benzene react with poromethane in the presence of aluminum chloride. The function of the aluminum chloride is for what? So this is the equation for the reaction, CH3Cl plus ALCl3, it is actually to form electrophile. So when you form electrophile, you form the methyl ion. Okay, so that is the reason why uh, the function of the aluminum chloride. Huh? Okay, so uh, at the same time, of course, aluminum chloride acts as a catalyst. Huh? Okay. Okay, 21. The mechanism for the nitration of benzene is shown below. So this is the mechanism. Okay. Which of the statements about the mechanism above is true? Number one, NO2 acts as a nucleophile. No, uh, NO2 is an electrophile. Uh, okay. Instead of a nucleophile, NO2 is an electrophile. Uh. Okay, number two. K1, K2 are not affected by temperature pressure. No, uh, all rate of rate of reactions are definitely influenced by temperature. Okay, value of K two is greater than K one. So, uh, because this is a slow step, while well, this is a fast step, so definitely the value of K two is guaranteed greater than K one. Okay, C is correct. And then number D, the rate of reaction is not affected by the NO2, which is wrong because as I mentioned just now, it's already a slow step. So both of them will influence the rate of reactions. Okay, so 21, the answer is C. 22, diagram below shows the setup of apparatus for compound X with acidified potassium manganate. Which of the following could be X that turn acidified from purple to colorless? So uh, as I mentioned just now, if you want to have aromatic compound that decolorize uh, uh, acidified potassium manganate, you must have a, a benzylic group or you must have an alkyl benzene. Okay, so something with alkyl benzene, for example, CH3, CH2CH3 is can give a positive test. However, if it is a quaternary carbon in this case, quaternary carbon cannot undergo oxidation. Okay, so when it cannot undergo oxidation, so therefore it will not decolorize the purple color of the acidified potassium manganate. So the answer is one and three only, correct. Okay, then we have number 23. Dinitrotrolene is an intermediate substance that form a, uh, that is a production of trinitrotrolene. So for information, trinitrotrolene looks like this. Huh? You have a CH3, benzene. So this is an NO2, NO2, NO2. Okay, so what could be the product, uh, intermediate of this product? So as long as it is at the auto and para positions, uh, so all are correct. That means uh, uh, because C in here, as you can see from the direction of the methyl benzene, it is a meta position. This is an auto position, this is a meta position. So C and D cannot be our answer. A is the product of the reaction already. So the question one, what is the intermediate? Okay. 
dinitrotoluene, which form as the major product of the nitration, so they want a dinitro. Okay, so uh, the best answer in here is boy B. 24. The chlorination of the toluene is shown as follows. Which of the following statements about the chlorination of the toluene is true? So in this case, uh, this is a free radical. Do I have any? Okay, now this is a free radical substitution reaction. While this one is an electrophilic, uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Okay, so both of them are substitution reactions. So substitution reaction occur is true. The reagent of the reaction is an electrophile. Only this is an electrophile. So this is a free radical. So B is wrong. Uh, the reaction increased with the presence of sunlight. Only this one requires sunlight, which is UV. And the reaction rate increased with the aluminum chloride. The, only this one react with aluminum chloride. So the best answer that both uh, describe best the both reactions are A, substitution reactions. Okay, so this is 24. Then we have 25. Which of the following reaction scheme can use to prepare benzoic acid? Okay, so allow me to find out for you what are the major product of all the reaction steps. Huh? So for A, the expected major product will be, first you undergo a CH3, ALCl3. So in another word, uh, the intermediate in here will be a chloro, uh, CH3. And then when you undergo a nitration, so it will be an auto and para position of the nitro product, okay? So I draw for you, lah, no problem. Lah. Okay, as for the second reaction, when we have COCl3 with excess hydrogen, so in here you form this intermediate, mm. C the one O C H three, and this uh, this uh, excess hydrogen acts as a reducing agent. Huh? So when you act as a reducing agent, the final product in here will be CH or HCH3. Okay. Okay, number three. Uh, what happens when benzene reacts with chlorine? So the intermediate product in here is a uh, chlorobenzene. And when you react with KCN, it's followed by acidification. Uh, actually, uh, chlorobenzene cannot react with KCN, huh? so there will be no product. Okay. And finally, for D, uh, you first under, when you undergo a uh, uh, this uh, alkylation, you form a uh, methyl benzene, and then methyl benzene you follow by acidification, you form a benzoic acid. Okay, so the best way to produce is donkey D. Number twenty six. Which of the following compound is a product when p-methylphenol react with bromine? So, uh, para-methylphenol react with bromine. So this is how para-methylphenol looks like. Huh? Now, because we are looking at aqueous bromine, not bromine in the FEBL3, so only the one at the auto and para position from the angle of the OH will react. Okay, so the best answer in here will be C. Okay, so this is for 26. 27. Which of the following is formed when benzene react with one butene in the presence of aluminum chloride? So this is the general equation. Uh, when uh, you are reacting, uh, you are reacting benzene with a butene in here. Okay. So when you react benzene with a butene in here, so the, the double bond will uh, you you have to. Sort of like imagine that it act like the Markovnikov rule. So the one that you substituted, uh, added to the benzene in here, will be the one with the lesser hydrogen. So the best answer in here will be B as a product. Okay. Twenty-eight. Which of the following electrophilic substitution reaction? Okay. So let's have a look one by one. What is this type of reaction? Huh? Okay. So in the first one, this is later we will learn. We call it as a nucleophilic addition reaction. Number two, this is a free radical substitution reaction because uh, you see that uh, in here you uh, replace uh, chlorine in here. It's a free radical substitution. While this one is what we so call as a hydrolysis. Hydrolysis is actually a type of uh, nucleophilic substitution. Huh? Well, last but not least, this is uh, actually a formation of color dye. Huh? Sorry, accidentally pressed. Huh? 
Now, this is a formation of a color dye. Okay, so the color dye in here is actually uh, nucleo, uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. Uh. So we, uh, later on, we will have a look on the reactions in chapter 8. Okay, okay so this is 28, then 29. When the compound is heated with acidified potassium manganate, a white precipitate is formed and the gas which turn line water chalky is evolved. So uh, you, you form uh, in here, white precipitate is formed is indicating the formation of this uh, benzoic acid. And then uh, you want to turn lime water chalky, you must form CO2. So under what circumstance will you form a CO2? Uh, you must have more than one carbon, uh, only then uh, the rest of the carbon will become the CO2. So for example, if you uh, oxidize this one, or this one, or even this one, at the end you only form benzoic acid, you will not form carbon dioxide. It is only when you react with uh, ethyl benzene. Ethyl benzene has an excess CH3 behind here. So the excess CH3, uh, what happened as a product of oxidation, they will become uh, carbon dioxide. Okay. So the best answer in here will be A. Last but not least is for question 30. Benzene undergoes nitration according to the equation. Which of the statement is or are true? Okay. So number one, sulfuric acid here acts as a catalyst. Okay. Which is correct. And the NO2 ion acts as a Lewis acid. So in here, it is a lone pair electron acceptor. So lone pair electron acceptor, it is a Lewis acid. So number two is also correct. The catalyst involved, involved is electrophilic substitution, which is correct. Okay, so this is a, a new electrophilic aromatic substitution. And product form is a colorless solution. No, uh, it is not a colorless solution. It is a yellowish uh, solution. Uh. It is yellow oily liquid. Uh. So it's not colorless. So the answer is one, two, and three. Okay. Okay. So with that, that is all for the discussion for the objective question. So I believe that I'm going to end my lesson for today. So tomorrow I'm going to post for uh, update for chapter three, section B, how to tackle structure questions. Okay. Okay. So if you like my video, please help me to click the like button. If you have any question, you can also comment down the YouTube here. And then uh, if you uh, want to receive further notification, please help me to click subscribe and notification buttons down there, the bell buttons. So I guess that is all for the lessons for today. So see you all tomorrow. Okay, goodbye.